Hello, it's Kelsey from the museum here in San Antonio. And today we're gonna to talk about a very important topic, viruses. Viruses are a type of germ that are found all around the world. There are many different kinds like colds, flus, and coronavirus. Viruses, like other germs, can be harmful and cause disease in not only animals like you and me, but also in plants, fungi, and even bacteria. So let's learn more about viruses so that way we can keep ourselves and others safer. First, viruses are tiny. They are very, very, very small. We can't see them with our eyes or a magnifying glass. We had to wait until very special high-powered microscopes were invented in order to see them. So what are viruses? Viruses are tiny structures made up of genetic material contained inside of a shell. What's genetic material? Genetic material is the instructions for an organism or a virus to reproduce or make more of them. Viruses are host dependent. What does that mean? It means that viruses can't live and reproduce on their own, like plants or animals. Instead, they need a body in which to live and reproduce, a host. Viruses can get inside through your mouth, your nose, or even a cut. Let's explore what happens when a virus is inside of the host body. So once the virus is inside the body, it will attach itself to a cell. Remember that genetic material that I was telling you about earlier? When the virus attaches itself to the cell, it tells the cell to start making copies of the virus instead of doing its normal cell jobs. If the cell isn't doing its job, it'll eventually die. And these new virus particles will attach themselves to cells and so on and so on until our immune system, the part of our body that helps to fight disease, hopefully kicks in and attacks those viruses and helps us feel better. That's how viruses make us sick. In fact, they can make us really sick. The word virus actually comes from the Latin word meaning poison. Ugh. So how do we protect ourselves, our friends, and family from viruses? We'll look at a few ways in our next video. Thanks so much for watching, and let's remember, stick together.